Ah, oh, and not a scratch on you. Some visitors arrived while you two were away. They've been anxiously awaiting your return. Visitors? For us? Slower than the frozen fountains of Kogo area. Camtoga! Would have gotten in touch sooner, but chasing after that slimy crux kind of takes all your attention. <clears throat> Commander. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Sir, I... Well, you've got a heck of a lot of explaining to do. Whoa, whoa. Reel it in a bit, kid. I do apologize for uh, sharing intel selectively. You must have had a reason, sir. We're not suggesting otherwise. Neither of us. Whatever, but no more games. Rollin, take it easy. First things first, how did you know a portal to this system was going to open up on that very day you dispatched us? Actually, Rollin, I didn't know. What? You must have! Sector W was stable when I sent you out there that day. Of course I knew something could happen, but sucked through a portal? The possibility never crossed my mind. Earlier, you said something about chasing Crux? Ah, well, your commander and I managed to get back to his ship after you two got out. Told you not to worry about us, didn't I? And that's when we spotted him. Right on his tail, too, for the longest time. And what happened? He made it to the Crawlosphere, which is now headed straight here. The five of us have got to work fast. <laughs> Don't worry. We've been brainstorming while you were gone. And the three whole goats actually came up with a plan. The three of us. We're leaving for an emergency meeting with the Council of Planets. The what? And just to be safe, we'll be proposing an evacuation of our entire planet. The Council will also need a defensive plan. And at this point, Kamtoga and I have the clearest grasp of the threat posed by the Crawlosphere. So he and I will be making the trip there with Radis. That's about it. Do you two have any questions? In the meantime, what should we do, sir? <laughs> Same thing we'll all be doing. Rack your brains for ways to stop the Crawlosphere. As soon as we're done briefing the Council, and as soon as they've approved a defensive strategy, Kamtoga and I will join the battle. Until then, just use your discretion, but be smart. Understand? Mm. Roger that, sir. Good luck. We'll do everything we can. Hmm. Why are Grant and Camtoga so freakishly tall, by the way? Because they've got to be imposing. <laughs> like, they are massive. Also, what Grant should have said there was, yeah, sorry about the whole withholding information thing. The writers thought that that would apparently make for some kind of a twist, but it, it didn't. I will really. also say that... Uh... Gina holding Rollin back when it was... I, I'm pretty sure it's been Gina the whole time, like, being like, hmm, what's going on with the commander? Yeah. Commander Grant, I have a confession to make. I doubted your intentions and your character. Oh, yeah, now you admit it. <laughs> it turns out that when they wrote your character in this game, they didn't take into account any of the other two games, like, even slightly. Gina. In your first transmission after we landed on Weterra, you muttered something like, So they did traverse the portal. It was like you had expected it to happen. Even worse, I felt like you knowingly put us in danger. Like you steered us right into a trap. But it wasn't a trap. You were sending us off to the same place you had been before. The cutscene that we just had had Grant say that he did not expect to be sending them here at all. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's right, it was 30 years ago when an accident during one of my patrols sent me through that very same portal. You just said, when you sent us to Sector W, it never even crossed your mind that a portal could open up and send you through it. Did, did two different people write this game and then just like mash it together? And not communicate at all? Like, hey, here's a script of what I wrote. Make sure it matches. That's when a Spectro Master named Crux saved me after I crashed her on Weterra, which makes it really weird that we talked about and fought a dude named Crux in Beyond the Portals, but I never brought that up. Yeah. Crux was once a proud Spectro Master who battled the Crawl, and I was only too eager to join him. We saw you back then, Commander, in a fossil memory. You were studying a Crawl you had defeated. 
Even though I'm no Spectro Master, I was able to battle the Crawl with some success. That doesn't make logical sense based on what the other games have established. As with all battles, the key is to know your enemy. I thought by studying their weaknesses, I could help save this planet. Wait, you're saying you don't have to be Spectro Masters to defeat the Crawl? Exactly, goes against everything in the first two games. Yeah. But instead of finding their weakness, my research revealed the secret behind their power. With the ooze from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? <laughs> Crux believes that he could control this newly discovered crawl power. He placed far too much faith in his abilities. I tried to stop him from using their evil power, but I was no match for him. The next thing I knew, I was drifting through the Nanaero system in an escape pod. Crux must have sent me back through the portal gate while I was unconscious. He could just do that? That's just the thing I that Crux he could, could do? just do that. Didn't you know he could just do that? <laughs> Then he re-emerged 30 years later as our mortal enemy, leading an army of Crawl into Nanairo through the portals. I sent you two to go investigate Sector W because I feared Crux might be up to something. Why didn't you just say so? I had planned on telling you everything, but then you were sucked through that Sector W portal. And that's when you showed up here on Watera. And lucky for us, too, because Crux was gunning for the Kaio system. You would think, being from the Kaio system, Crux wouldn't wait 30 years to gun for it, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> When he contacted you, he couldn't give you any details without also alerting Crux. Ain't that right, Grant? What, Crux can, like, tap into radio communications now? Oh. <laughs> that about sums it up. Forgive me, you two. They didn't really put too much thought into the writing of this game. Rawl and Gina, it's time to stand up to Crux and stop his evil plot. I'm talking to both of you, but I'm staring at Camtoga's collarbone as I do so. I can't do it without you. I mean, he's very buffed, so I mean, I can't a lot do it to without you. Camtoga's left pectoral and Camtoga's right pectoral. Oh my goodness! What was that? How did you turn your head so fast when you're like 80? You got a commander. You can always count on us. I got whiplash. Just, around at the wound. <laughs> I got whiplash just looking at that. I forgot that when you walk out of this room, you walk into a JPEG image. <laughs> Oh. Going into the JPEG. Oh, We're gonna go two-dimensional. <laughs> I hate, I hate Disney. Yeah. This game could go off so well with a remake. Yeah. It really is fun, and the character designs are great. The monster designs are fantastic. Character designs are pretty good. Are they going to do the thing where Crawl spawns here? No? Alright. I don't think we have to do anything other than go to the Crawlosphere. We're probably going to have a cutscene in the ship where they say, like, we're going to go to the Crawlosphere. Mm -hmm. But I do want to go get the last couple of ultimate weapons we don't have just to see them. Yeah, agreed. Ba -ba -da -ba. Zero hour. The fate of Weterra is up for grabs. Yeah, we should brace ourselves for some pretty ferocious fighting. You scared? No way. All set? You kidding? Let me at him. All right then. Coordinates confirmed and locked in. Target, Crawlosphere. We'll take it at cruising speed to about 120 deep space miles, then max it out to shake the gravitational field. Got it! Sure, those are words. That you may as well say. Yeah. <laughs> Does it auto land us on the crawlosphere here? Uh. Weird. I guess. Yeah, I guess so. So this is just a, if I remember right, this is just a sequence of combat rooms, like one for each element, I think. Mhm. Mm and then the boss. Yikes. The whole thing's a huge mass of crawl. Got an entry point. Looks good. Let's do it. My favorite words. Let's do it is your favorite words? That looks like a void, Gina. What do you mean it looks good? Yeah, it's a... I mean, that's an opening. It goes somewhere. Crawlosphere reminds me of being in Monstro in Kingdom Hearts 1. I will change characters to Rollin. Yep. Uh, do we have... Did we ever get a Heiko? I thought we did. I thought we did too. Oh, we have a bunch of news. One of these must be a Heiko. Hmm. 
I do want Heiko to -hmm. replace Gokazoa for the end of the game. Makes sense. This is Koma Inu. That is a Koma Inu. Not what I want. But we will excavate it. There we go. Also, I like how they're they're like, uh, yeah, we, we need to figure out what to do. We're gonna go have a we're gonna have a council meeting. Yeah, yeah. They were like, yeah, brainstorm plan. what to do about the crawl sphere. All right, I brainstormed that I'm gonna go into it and shoot it with a giant light uh, laser beam. That that's what my brainstorming got me. And uh, whatever this yeah. council of planet is, planets is, I'm just gonna like ignore that and go do it. Yeah, no, that that was such. I was like, why? We're just going to the crawl sphere. Why are we? Why are we not? Why is Commander this, Grant just not like game, go attack the go hit the crawl sphere, guys? You got this. This game is We're, very marketed towards nine-year-olds, which is very unfortunate because it is it it's so good. This is a pretty why, good game. Just, just why couldn't it be a little bit better, just, or at least the story be? Why couldn't it have been any other company? Yeah, that's that is kind of the thing. Square Enix, you're our only hope. Several people who put faith in Square Enix and are let down laugh in the distance. Yep, that's what I thought. Square Enix just released like three Final Fantasy games and are trying to release another one. They don't have time for other franchises. Yeah, yeah it's, and also they don't really need it, so they probably play. All the yeah. Kingdom Hearts fans are like, don't you dare try and give Square Enix literally anything else to do. Yeah. They're still over there starving. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how long were you guys waiting for KH3? <laughs> the KH3 wait is a little overblown. So it was... 14 years between Cage 3 and 2, something like that. Somewhere between like oh. 13 and 15 years. But there were so many games released. Oh, yeah, in there, there was a ton of spin offs. Right? I mean, spin offs quotation marks. Because, like, I mean, they, they are, they're not numbered titles, but they all tie into the thing into the overarching story and all. They may yeah. as well, in any other video game franchise, they would be considered main titles. But because it's Kingdom Hearts, they're not. Yeah, I will say, like, even some of their old games, like, the cutscenes are always banger. Like, I, I haven't played through, I think, it, it's Birth by Sleep that has Terra, Ventus. Yeah, Aqua, that's the Wayfinder right? trio. Yeah, I just remember seeing some of the cutscenes of, like, Terra in his armor, and I'm like, oh, that looks sick! Keyblade and... armor is very awesome. Literally every KH fan worth their salt wants them to do more uh, Keyblade armor, but they keep not doing it. It's so simple! Why will you not do it? Just do it! There's Heiko Lhasa. Alright, awaken this bad boy. We're gonna get a Heiko. Hey! Oh, I have to name this thing. What am I going to name this thing? Uh. Oh, crud. Uh, what are the buttons? That one? And then this one? Yeah. It makes a cute noise. Most spectrobes do. I know, but it's cute. I, 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 hey, I can still appreciate that it's a cute noise. It spits fire. Um... Uh, Fire Dragon. Hey, Druck. References. Now let's go evolve this thing. Put it in this room. I like the secondary rooms better. Yeah, they do look really cool. Hmm. 
Reminds me of attacking the power of Juju. They hey make such there, cute little sounds. buddy. Evolve. Now you're not gonna sound so cute. But it's you fine. don't know that. Well, let's see. That's adorable. Ah, that is actually adorable. <laughs> Get a good look at uh, Hyco Drake before we evolve it because the evolution system in this game is whack and there's no reason to ever use adult spectrobes. Oops. Jessica. Hey, I only did it once. So far. Nobody tell him about how it popped up on screen. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> I do think I like Heiko Drake better. Yeah, I mean, it's, I think I mean, they, that both is have, cool. they both have different aesthetics going for them. This one looks like it's straight out of How to Train Your Dragon. I maybe it's because of my Yu-Gi-Oh upbring, upbringing and my love of How to Train Your Dragon, but I love like mm -hmm. the double mouths on one thing, like Slifer the Sky Dragon. Mm-hmm. It's a big, bulky helicopter lad with just... Nah, I like this one better. I, I like Heiko Lhasa. Yeah, now that I'm looking at it a little longer, it looks... <laughs> also, look at yeah, Nats. Like... It just turns off its helicopter propellers. Yeah, it, they just disappear. It, it can do that. I get to fight with this thing now. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Murder! Okay, calm down. I didn't look up the thing for the legendary spectrobes, but I did want to get to look at all the legendary spectrobes in a room before we ended the playthrough. How straightforward would that be? Is this the password machine? Wait, which one's the password machine? I think it's this one. Let me see. I had a video a while ago. Card input. It should be constellation. Yeah, constellation, constellation. for spectrobes. We could get kitty ears if we want. Constellation cards ah. are those that have constellation patterns in your input. Start by inputting the access code found on the front side of the card. Connect the stars in the same way they are connected on the input card. First connect star A to B and so on until you finish the constellation. If you're having a hard time connecting one star to another, first check if you're pointing to the correct star. Once you complete the constellation, you'll get the creature shown on the card. Okay. Let me see if I can pull up over here. Oh, what the heck? Go back. Spectrobes. Origins, secret, spectrobe, card inputs. Card inputs. Let me see here. It's got all the card inputs for both games, but I need the one at the very bottom. All right, here we go. Whoops, wrong button. Flame racks, zero, one, one. Two, three, five, eight, one, three. Okay. This constellation thing is really neat. Oh yeah, red for flame racks. Uh, and then there's the card. So I think it goes. If I'm reading this right, there to there to there, 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 there. He's done it. Ooh! Probably my second favorite after Optigore. I hate that its name isn't just Flame Racks. Yeah. We have to nickname all five of these. Crud. Guys? Uh, for Zillia, sure. I'm sorry, that was what popped into my head for. I d why would you apologize for suggesting a name? <laughs> I don't know. Also, its tail's wagging. It's cute. It is a dog. The good dog. Next the up is boy. Mizusar. Two, one, three, four, five, five, eight, nine, one. 